That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. Well, I know she ain't. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. Carlyle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Damn. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, oh, we're about to get this the exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. We're going in. Episode 2. Death in the family. Uh, we're going on... Professional. I am not a master yet. Find the case file. Kill Alexa Carla. You should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carla. Okay. 
Can I walk over here? That's a little turkey. of first enforcer guards oh by the way I told Kate about those texts what did she say well I thought she'd be mad at me but she just thanked me that she understood the position I was in uh, we had a really good talk about it actually oh, what did I tell you she's a sensible woman and that stuff from your ex was like manipulation Sorry, sir, but I can't let you through here. Okay, well, fuck off then. I'll finish setting up and then we'll wrap it just before you call down. The yes. Good. Yeah. That explains a lot. You strike me as independent and self sufficient? Taking a break where the family might see you. Perhaps you're all so perceptive. Tell me the first odd thing that comes to mind when you think of the last 24 hours. If you're dressed like a Detective 47, you might as well act the detective. I suggest you go talk to the butler. This guy is like the most recognizable person ever. Mr. Whitmer, that is Alexa Carlisle, unofficial leader of the Providence Partners, and you last one to be alive. I, know. I am. Very well. We if you'll follow me, persevere. sir. Before you inspect it is my the crime duty scene, I will to tell make you this. That happen. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madam Carlisle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body for... 47. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. Uh, it was you said to investigate it. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Okay. They asked me to do the fucking most right now. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Where else you got some writing at? And we got that. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. <laughs> People. Yeah. 
You've likely not exhausted the room for clues, 47. Hmm, a photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. The butler. The butler is the guilty one. As the only person's here when he dies. Well, you just gave yourself up. Mask. No, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully, Bro, that will you. help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. This is very useful information, 47. Okay. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? They want me to search the whole manor for clues? Oh, my lanta. Zachary. Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my... About Zachary. I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him... Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> uh, the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my... Tell me about Zachary. Zach! Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his red... Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York... This is with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He would never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the Stag's Head around half past eight. If that's all, I... Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed dad. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff all the company he had. Anything else I can... Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory? Someone's naughty. And why is the key missing? 
You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest Mr. you go Fernsby. to Mr. Fernsby. Unless I'm you think there are more secrets to uncover. Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Six years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. She raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gallery to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming... Bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up, but to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way, then. The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. Hello, sir. Good work, okay. 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. You never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. To protect the Carlyle legacy, what bollocks. It's a... Oh, God! Mission complete. Well done, 47. Right in their dome.
<laughs> they didn't hear shit. Gotta go. Gotta blast. And uh, that's it. That's all for the episode. Didn't talk a lot. It was just like a bunch of. You, know, you need to look around, and get stuff. And that's just one way of doing it. You could do it so many different ways. And just like that. Forty seven. They're everywhere. Go get out. It's the Constantine. Shit. Oh shit, dude. There's no bueno. I wonder what happened. Like all those things are some type of art. Hey, you got a three star. Not bad. Lockpick can be used to. Oh, this uh, that's nice. Can slip in and conceal a small item in a crate by deliveries at the time of the matter. Wow. All right. So next episode is you owe him nothing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Drop a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and peace out.